Hello, universe. Welcome to Off the Rails with Tom and Mark. We got a question. Well, before we even get started, T, I want to know where your conspiracy line is drawn. Where it's drawn? Yeah, like okay. what's feasible and what is just utter crap. Well, let me tell you this. Uh, I, you know, when I started the book, um, I had a very genuine interest in conspiracy theory. Uh, it started probably when I was a teen. I read a lot of books about UFO cases like Roswell and Area 51 and stuff like that. I thought it was really interesting. Um, I also had an interest in the JFK assassination. Uh, I'm not saying that I believed in a particular theory, but I really loved reading about it. And, um, you know, I read a little bit about secret societies here and there, too. So all that stuff was really interesting uh, to me. Where my opinion started to drift away from that a little bit uh, was, again, an Alex Jones-related case. In 2012, uh, he was helping spread this conspiracy theory that the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting yeah, was a, a fabrication and that the children hadn't actually died and that the grieving parents that you saw on TV were actually actors playing those parents. And I was like, oh, you know what? Conspiracy theory can be a really disgusting thing. You know, that's exactly when I wrote him off when I said, what is, yeah. he, is he actually saying that didn't happen? It's like I, I couldn't believe anything he said after that. I yeah, I've never heard that one. Is yeah, that, you haven't that, heard about that's that? Actor. That's yeah. what yeah. It made that him was famous. Like the of crisis actors. Crisis, yes. actor. crisis yeah. actors, yeah. He became um, very famous for that because a lot of those parents have now sued him, uh, as they should, of course. Um, so he's had lawsuit after lawsuit from Sandy Hook parents who have been like, you can't libel and slander us on your radio show and, and say that we're actors. So that really like kind of, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Just, it made me feel kind of nauseated. I was like, can you imagine that you lose your child? And then, because the other thing was not only was Alex Jones talking about this on a show, but his, some of his crazy listeners would harass these people. They'd see him walking down the street and they'd come up to him and start yelling at them about how they fake their kid's death and stuff like that. It's not bad enough they lose a child that they have to deal with this crap. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah. I mean, hasn't he backtracked on that like lately? Because I, I think I heard him say that he never said it. He was just saying that other people were saying it. Well, uh, what, what I discussed this in a chapter of my book, by the way, um, and so he had a couple of defenses, but uh, I think a very revealing one was that his lawyer said, hey, Alex Jones plays a character called Alex Jones on his show. And so, you know, it's just supposed to be kind of entertainment and he can't really be responsible if he says this stuff. And then Alex Jones himself had to give a videotape uh, deposition uh, in one of these cases and his excuse was that he had been traumatized by the government lying so much that he just kind of assumed that everything was a lie. And this was his defense that he, you know, just naturally <laughs> assumes things are lies. So, so yeah. So, so when you look at today in with such uh, sensationalized media, you know, it, it, it I think I've started to look at this and kind of change my perspective just, but it's been over time. But when you look at, regardless of what side of the fence you're on politically, regardless of, of what you see and what you do, you're, you're just inundated with all these, these stories that seem to be 24 seven. And that yeah. kind of was also what sort of, is there a, such thing as a healthy paranoia? But what, 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 when you look at, you know, news articles or news headlines from the day, I mean, what sort of parameters do you do or, or what sources do you take that kind of either, validate it or you kind of toss it to the side and say you know what this is just you know cr created just to get a, a response out of people you know where I'm, where I'm getting with this yes yeah it's really hard to tell now um because you'll have a lot of websites where they'll have a name that sounds like it's kind of legitimate and they'll present things at, like a news story mm -hmm. uh but then you find out that these 
sites are very heavily biased one way or another and um, that they're really kind of giving you a headline that fills a narrative that you want to build. So absolutely. It's mm -hmm. what you're watching, what you yeah. want to hear. So if you see a headline that says that Hillary Clinton has done this terrible thing and you don't like Hillary Clinton, then you're like, that sounds true to me. So I'm going to believe that that's real news. If it's you know, and same thing with Trump too. I mean, well, and, yeah. and, and I think we've, we've, created such a, a short attention spans in, in people that it's it's usually people never get past the headline By right the time exactly. the headline they're yeah. they've already made up their mind on it they've already either mad mm -hmm. upset or happy about it one way or another um and i think that there is very little research that goes into a lot of these things um, right right yeah and so i it just it's kind of been a a bad uh creation throughout the past couple of years it is like right. bigfoot is the gateway drug to all of this <laughs> not messy <laughs> no nope. uh -huh. yeah I mean, bigfoot, and next thing you know you're burning down the bohemian club <laughs> right right well I, I think news when i was a kid they told you the news it seems to be more opinion these days it slants left it slants right and I don't think they're reporting the news as much as giving you their opinion on it. So it's the Ron Burgundy syndrome. You just read what's on the teleprompter, right? Yep. <laughs> well, I would rather just have the straight news than coming from the left, coming from the right, tell me the news, Walter Cronkite style. Yeah. You never knew where he leaned, left or right. David Brinkley, those guys, you never knew he didn't care. what their political affiliation was. Right, they were telling <laughs> the news. Yeah. Uh, and it's really one of the sad things is a lot of these news um, organizations, of course, have let a lot of people go. So um, you have smaller and smaller um, people working at these news organizations, which means more mistakes made. There's less people hired as fact checkers and stuff like that. So uh, it's sort of this changing media that's really a problem. Yep. Francis? Hey, no politics. It's not politics. We haven't, we, we haven't identified one way or another. Well, my, my son actually works for a major news agency in Washington, D.C., and we just have an agreement not to discuss it. He's like, that's that's work. I'd rather not discuss any of the what I do at work. Are you counting down for us? Right above you, Taylor. Goodness. Oh, no more kids after that. <laughs> big reveal. <laughs> there That's we it. go. Yeah, the, the last, last child one. is a yep. boy. <laughs> I figure we break it up a little bit. What a tender reveal. Yeah, we hear this thing breaking in. I'm like, what's going on here? It's funny. There you go. Oh. Well, then they have a, a thing where, uh, like, a grandmother, a lady, got killed with one of these uh, gender reveals. I don't know. I saw. Uh, yeah, she got hit with something and uh, she died. Somebody threw a like a baseball that was uh, supposed to be a color, but he threw a wild pitch and hit an old man in the face <laughs> oh like God. a blue ball. Oh wow. my God! Yeah, just like look, we never knew it. You know, in the gender what? reveal just start some of the wildfires that's in correct yeah yeah the really? party started it in uh california one who of the, started one of the, the gender reveal party there was uh, i can't remember her lady but she came out speaking against this form of gender reveal and she well, was it's another that, reason can't to you just email <laughs> t you want to come to a gender reveal party with me <laughs> I, i've been to a gender reveal party well, how was it how, how did, did anyone get hurt no, I, I, someone could have gotten hurt because um, they the, they had an archer like shot a bullseye and that like revealed the color. It was a pink, so it was a girl. So I guess that could have been a mishap. You could have. Could have. Was it successful yeah. right away the first time? I had to shoot a couple of arrows. A couple of arrows. <laughs> couple. See, yeah. It kind of takes away from a little bit. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> My dad had an old recurve that used to make a noise when he pulled it. And one year, he's like, 
you know, this bow is going to go someday. And he just, we're down in the basement and he draws it back and it folds around his hand and just crushes him into balls on the top of the head at the same time. (laughs) Crunch, crunch. He brought you down to see that. Did you laugh? (laughs) Oh my God. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, he met my dad. He was on a podcast with my dad. My dad had some of the weirdest things. He gets these weird ideas. I don't know. He must be like the phantom patriot, but he's like, (laughs) man, I threw my back out. I'm, ah, I'm going to go downstairs and kick the ceiling. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? You're going to go downstairs and kick the ceiling. So I'm watching him, and he does a run across the basement stairs, and he's going to, like, crane kick the ceiling to straighten his back up. <laughs> and he hits that metal eye beam with his forehead. He oh gets about God. four inches off the ground. And he's just rolling around. Oh, and so I'm that- like, dude, your back doesn't hurt yeah, anymore, right. does it? Yeah, you, <laughs> the whole house I forgot shook. all about the back. Like, oh man! I forgot his name too after that one. <laughs> Way to go to kick the ceiling. Yeah. Your so, dad sits and watches Bigfoot and UFO stuff constantly. <laughs> Molly, we found your Halloween mask. What? It is <laughs> a Karen. Karen. That's the Karen hair. Oh, I kind of want that. <laughs> <laughs> if she comes back the next time she goes to get her hair cut like that. How's that gonna? How's That's that why gonna she's Karen out? Apprentice right now. She's not quite Karen. She's not a Karen. No. <laughs> yeah, I think it's kind of cool. I like I like the color, the blue, the purple. It looks good. Stop I don't think up. I have ever asked for a manager in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yet, yet the hair hasn't yeah. taken effect. <laughs> yeah, just shut up. It'll be next week. You'll be telling us all about how you were at Target. It's not a Karen and... hairdo. That's not. Come it on. Took a half hour for their manager to get out there. Yada yada yada. I got a twenty-five dollar gift card. <laughs> Maybe when she gets the Karen haircut, she'll have to speak to the manager. Aww. Just perfect timing. <laughs> exactly. Just just needs time to sink into your brain. <laughs> All right. We got a shopper baffled by a chopping board here. Uh, wipe clean only. Wipe spills. Immediately avoid staining. Do not soak. Do not use as a chopping board. Wait, Whoa. What? <laughs> What is it for then? If it's a chopping block, it says wood chopping board. That's got to be pottery mm-hmm. barn because nothing there is actually. Do not oh, maybe it's a, a decoration board. chopping board. A, who actually reads that stuff? And B, what Par- the hell? apparently, this, well, this Tom, this guy. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It is funny. <laughs> this All is right, a bad Molly, I got your birthday present here too. I I messed up with Molly's birthday present. Believe it or not, you did not. I when got was her a birthday. It's coming up. So what I did was it, the the account got shut down, my, my bank account, because it was fraudulent. Mm-hmm. I wanted to buy her a one-by-one one foot plot in Scotland, and then they sent a plaque because you get to be a lord or a lady. <laughs> so I was going to make her a lady for her birthday and give her land in Scotland. I told him then we would have had to visit my my tree her my kingdom soul. yeah <laughs> but then it was like yeah this place is from estonia you don't they're they're not you don't own anything in scotland oh estonia <laughs> like, i don't care i just want the certificate <laughs> i just want to finally make her a woman <laughs> a lady I want to make her a lady, lady. <laughs> oh geez oh. but i guess you're gonna have to wait till i die here you go molly <laughs> Body pillow. That's I a full saw, size body pillow I saw of these. a chicken McNugget. Is that a tag that's sticking off it, or is it? Yeah, McDonald's. It's a three foot long chicken nugget body pillow. <laughs> Ninety bucks each. T. How how many of these are you gonna have? <laughs> whole whole couch filled with oh, them. Six six or four. Does it actually have that's like good. the chicken texture? <laughs> like, I mean, the we can put it on the business account and get one in here. <laughs> Wow, it would be nice for this bench. Yeah, it just looks uncomfortable. You're, it has butt marks. Yeah. You're kind of like, yeah, you're, you're between you're the, the butt marks for the bench. I know it's you're not getting very, it. it's not very comfortable. <laughs> it, it's getting up I, into I, the gooch. I, I, I need a I need a chicken <laughs> nugget pillow. Now, Michael was just in uh, New Jersey, Ooh. and we got video footage of you there. I, I don't know if you knew that. In but, Jersey, nice. Yeah, he was in Jersey. He My ex-wife from Jersey. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> She's a Jersey girl. Sorry. Hold on. There we go. Oh, I remember. <laughs> my ears again. Probably. Where's his makeup? <laughs> I don't know. It's a bizarre. There he 
is. Michael in New Jersey. Yes. <laughs> No shame. It doesn't sound like a Jersey accent. Oh, this is obvious. It's broad daylight. He's just walking all over it. Oh my god. Why didn't you just walk into the ocean lay steep, dude? Like a gentleman. Well, I, I, felt, I felt bad because you see those two ladies that were sitting on the beach. The wind was blowing right back at them. So, yeah, you could hear it. Yeah. They they looked hot. They wanted a cold shower. They, 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 Seems they, to they be got, like they mist. got a golden shower. Yeah, a little right. mist. Yeah. yeah, that's not little really mist. a cold shower. That's Here, let me, let, me, let, me, let me cool you down. A warm shower. All right, we got another video here to share. T, you maybe, having fun? Maybe, maybe the yeah, baby yeah. on the ground with a jellyfish. Interesting stuff. There you go. Jellyfish <laughs> yeah. ties right in. His imaginary friend. Jersey jellyfish. They're the worst. He's like, why did I stick around? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's a guy who just decides, I'll cut my own. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 That's, that would be my reaction. Before we watch it again, I just want to I want you to explain <laughs> to me what his plan was. Where was he going in the first place? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh. You got to take him out of the neighborhood, man. You can't have that guy out of the gene pool. <laughs> the gene pool. Hey, That's Shanta. crazy. Hey. Oh, geez. I, I got no <laughs> clue where where he was going. Uh, I'm not sure he didn't. Uh, yeah, neither did he. Yeah. Yeah. I could do this myself. <laughs> Fuck. <No problem. laughs> <laughs> oh geez so cops here are bragging about uh their huge drug bounty of 100 dollars <laughs> for little bags of drugs they took this from a 19 year old kid and slapped it up on their facebook like they stopped drug trafficking <laughs> yeah four small bags of weed Two grand. How much in cash? Five hundred. One hundred. Look, 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 look at the headline. Triumphantly. <laughs> Triumphantly <laughs> out their drug trafficking. You know, where was this Mayberry? Was it Andy and, and Dude, Barney? There's different types of weed. That's why they're not all in the same bag. We're not trafficking. Oh. It's a big time criminal. They got a nineteen year old kid. It's just weed. I guarantee. Where was this? Between our cars. <laughs> we can come up with more than this picture. <laughs> you would win that bet. <laughs> oh, geez, T. We could do that. We got that beat, right? Oh. <laughs> I don't know about the hundred yeah. bucks. <laughs> hundred bucks is gonna be the hard part. Be stretch. <laughs> but there's a library next door. <laughs> I could take one of them bags and get honored soon. Oh, geez. where where did that happen? What what town was that that they were so happy Will, Willoughby, about? Willoughby, wherever that is. Willoughby, yeah. Must be not go, much going on there. Uh, here's the uh, sounds kind of like Mayberry. The bad news story of the day: the porn industry is heading for a major coronavirus outbreak, and we could be losing our porn. <laughs> not that there's not enough backlog to get us by. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it all. <laughs> <laughs> One time, my my computer just said. Go to bed, dude. You saw it all. <laughs> you have reached the end of the porn internet. <laughs> like, huh, I got to wait for the buffer to build up before I watch more porn. <laughs> Your computer had had enough. <laughs> Go to bed, dude. I am in bed. <laughs> so what they're saying, um, there's certain testing services that the actors and actresses have to 
get tested by once a month. And now that they're adding COVID to the test, uh, talent testing services had pulled out to not be part of these testing. So right now, it's basically the Wild West all willy-nilly because porn actresses and actors are not getting tested. For COVID or everything? I believe not for COVID. But they're still getting tested for sexually transmitted mm -hmm. diseases. But when it hits, you have to do almost like the honor system and tell them if you have it or not because it's not – to the industry, you have to get your own private test for it. I could just see, you, you, you I could don't. just see the porn. Oh, you're so hot! I know, baby. No, your temperature, you're burning up. You're COVID. You're 103.7. <laughs> Pull out a temperature. You, you, you're burning up. Oh my god! What I mean like if you're sick, you're gonna go shoot a porn? Yeah. I saw a midget porn where the girl was snorting and coughing the whole time. Oh my god. <laughs> The midget was she the midget or no? It was a male so, midget. So, so in that situation, why would male you continue, midget. why would you continue to watch that? At that point, you go limp, and you know, you just got to see what's happening. Oh. <laughs> but it's like she's like got the flu or something. She keeps stopping and like coughing and clearing. So 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 it couldn't was, they it was like... out of concern. So you continue to watch just out of you wanted to make sure she yes. was okay. Yes. She's infecting him. I mean, <laughs> And he's already well, was there like a, a follow-up episode where all of a sudden he had the flu too? <laughs> I didn't see part two. <laughs> they just pass it on part two. <laughs> it's a series. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a nurse oh, fantasy in the oh. second one. He's like, there's a reason we don't stick around for the bonus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, T, I need your help with this. Yeah. I gotta know what's up with Kanye West. Do you know anything about Kanye West? Uh a bit, yeah. Yeah. He uh, um I think okay, he's going you know through a mental breakdown. A mental breakdown. That's what's going yeah. on? Because yeah. that will help us out with this one. It seems like every man that gets involved with that family, they go off the deep end. <laughs> Is he peeing on a Grammy? He's peeing on a Grammy. Oh, my yeah. God. So he did yeah. that and then took a video of it and posted it. Uh, he Does took it have multiple videos. He really had... <laughs> Wow. So we got other videos and a lot stuff. Of wet work. And I just don't know why. And who got the Grammy afterwards? Who put who He's took got it out of the toilet? 21 Grammys. Kim, come get this. <laughs> Bring a towel. <laughs> that's gotta be an, that's gotta be an adventure, man. <laughs> oh my god. So what what was the Grammy for? Because he's got a bunch of them. He's got 21 Grammy Awards. Did he say why he peed on it? Um a dispute. Mental illness. No, it could be like like symbolic, like a dispute with no. the record company or something. T, what were you um saying about a uh, mental breakdown? Because I didn't get that news story yet. Uh, I mean, just by his behavior, uh, he's doing this run for president, and I saw a video of him like on a stage somewhere talking about um, running for president. And I don't remember what he said in particular, but I was just like, this guy like needs help, you know. Yeah. He's just like no, he, he was talking about shit. abortion, I believe, and he started crying, and he he was yeah. gonna abort his child, and his dad wanted to abort him, and it was just like, wow, that yeah, seemed right, to me right. to be an episode, a mental episode. It was like I felt bad yeah. for the guy. Yeah, you feel yeah. bad, but it's kind of fun watching a billionaire. <laughs> you know, but well, see, the problem is when someone is a, a billionaire like that, or or whatever, uh, they surround themselves with people who aren't gonna say, hey. You've got a problem. We need to take you to a mental hospital because they're all getting paid to be his yes men or his doctors that make a lot of money prescribing stuff. So, you know, there's no one to really tell these people no, which is why you see cases like, you know, Michael Jackson, Kanye West and other celebrities kind of fall apart, I think. Well, his mother-in-law is not going to tell him no, that's for sure. And Ron's right. Ron is right. We need to focus on men's mental illness. We're told never to let our emotions out. Most suicides are men. That's a good point. Very good point. You know, someone that's so in the public limelight, I mean, it's got to be even more difficult for them because everyone's sitting here watching and analyzing his life and everything he's doing, and he's legit, like, crying out for help it. and losing it. Like, he needs... Pissing on Grammys and on posting it. And yeah. people are, 
you know. Yeah, it's sad. He was, I believe he was trying to uh, do kind of a underrepresented uh, black people need to own their music more and get more money for their stuff. So he. So it was something symbolic. I believe that's why. That's what I found from other stories, not this one. And, you know, the record companies, they're, they're crooks, man. I mean, you mm -hmm. know, Prince, where he went through his thing, mm -hmm. changed his name to a symbol, and they're, they're forced to to do put out these deals, and they're getting very little money for it. I mean, I'm definitely on the side of the artist. But the Grammys so are much... kind of like, what the hell did we do to you? Right. You got well, the six Grammy... or nine nominations yeah, for well, the one You do have a point there. <clears throat> they may... <laughs> Hesitate to give him another one. Yeah. Wait, like, what would you do with the last one? <laughs> <laughs> with the last one. It won't flush. It won't flush. <laughs> I got to make them smaller. <laughs> so here's something that could be fun for us to talk about here. Um, owner of a Vietnamese restaurant in Canada gets death threats over its insulting dish names. Molly, you probably have, I believe we have one of these in Milwaukee. Um, oh, like a faux king? A faux king bond restaurant claims. So There was a faux king. I don't know if it's still around. Mm -hmm. Well, some of these drink names are not good, like Viet Cong. And, oh, yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll get into what those mean in Vietnamese, but. You know, classic right dish. Bon teat noon is slang for good little. Mm. And uh, there's some phrases for like my ass and stuff. But he, people are giving him death threats because of the folking name. And they're saying it's, you know, because it's a play on words that that's insulting to the Vietnamese community. And they backed down and apologized and said that they're going to change their menu, but they won't change their name. I think I'd be more offended by the menu. And, and the Canadian the death threat. So yes. come on. <laughs> I hope you live a long, happy life he? and then die with people that love you surrounding you. <laughs> That's a Canadian death threat, eh? Hey, <laughs> sorry. Buddy. Sorry. <laughs> well, 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 here, don't you remember there was a plane crash a couple of years ago and uh, the, the media went to press too quick and they released the names of the pilots. And I'm trying, I'm actually looking this up to see when that was. I, I don't remember. I know the, the one where they, they but, read it on the news. But, actually, But yeah, they read it. And so the pilot, they reported the pilot's names as captain. Some Ting Wong, we too low. Holy fuck. Fook. Um, and bang ding out. And they actually reported that on the news <laughs> that this was, this was the pilot's names in yep. the actual airplane crash. <laughs> and then they apologize for it afterwards. It's you, like you remember that. I, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. It's like I don't you realize what's going on? I mean, right off the bat, you should have said, "Hey, this this can't be." It's right. it's against the Ron Burgundy syndrome. See, so it reads everything on the teleprompter. There you go. <laughs> I mean, I, you're right, but how how could you literally be giving the giving the get past the first two words? Yeah, and then, oh, this like, is nonsense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How do you feel about the restaurant backing down, though? Would you have backed down? I mean, it's a play on words. It's going to affect their business. Yeah, but okay. We do this in America all the time. And I'm sure all of you had the same experience when you went to Hooters the first time. You went, holy crap, the wings are actually good. They really are. <laughs> They're the best. But I you really like didn't them. go there for the wings. You went there because it was called Hooters. I thought that was an words. owl. The who is that, that's, not, that's not the case. Oh. That's what I said when I took my kids there. <laughs> so we're not getting jobs as servers, okay? <laughs> Don't need them. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I took my teenage boys there. They loved it. Yeah, Molly got a job at Mosquito Bites. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. No, they wouldn't hire me either. <laughs> oh, you had to go to Raisins. <laughs> Oh man, I'm not joining in on this. <laughs> Whew. Carpenter's dream over there, Mal. <laughs> so you think they should have backed down or you think they should have just said no, we're gonna be the fucking I think for the amount of people that it actually offended or, or affected, I think would probably not significantly hurt their business. I think people would actually go there more because of it. What? The notoriety. They say no publicity is, is bad for right. that's true. Exactly. Well, we We're talking culture. about it. If I go to Canada, I'm definitely going to check it out. Where in Canada is that? Um, one of the 
Uh, one of the places. It's somewhere up there. It's over there. It's over there. It's over there. I believe there is a folk king. In Montreal. In oh, Montreal is great. I'll yeah. definitely go there. Yeah. I think there is one in Milwaukee too, or there was. T would know. He knows all things Milwaukee. He's Mister Milwaukee. Uh, I don't think there's a faux king here. Uh, there's a really great faux restaurant called Hue, which is in Bayview. Yeah. That's the only one I'm aware of. We've got one in West Bend, too, that is pretty good. But I thought that there was one in the area. There's one in Grafton. Um, There's one in Cedarburg, too. But I just mean with that name. Hmm. Hmm. I think that one's called the Bamboo Lounge or something along those lines. All right. There's one in Waukesha. Restaurant offers items called Folky You, Folky Me, <laughs> Folky It, Folky Off. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't know. I think that's kind of fun, right? A gimmicky. Yeah. I mean, how can you be offended by that? Because you're Canadian. That's why. Well, no, these are all Vietnamese people saying, if you don't like our culture, stop making our food and stop making fun of it. It's like, I, don't, I just think we were going for a gimmick here. There's one in Waukesha and at their website, like the, the thing on the website says, Foking Awesome Waukesha. <laughs> that sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So they're wrong. And then I'm going to open up another one called so fucking and i'm gonna sell <laughs> sofas <laughs> ron says no publicity is bad publicity unless you're the old spokesperson for subway poor jared <laughs> oh jared <laughs> poor jared <laughs> i wonder yeah, if he's still I said that sarcastically yeah where he is still jared had now? the prison. he's in prison prison really yeah no he's way he's a pedophile i think that's it we're looking it up yeah, he's absolutely. He's got to be out of prison by now. No, right? I think he got like 15 years. Really? He Whoa. certainly lost all his sponsorships. Did he? Did he keep the weight off? That's what I want to know. Probably not. <laughs> get, get fat again. Yeah, but then he could be a success story and come back. You've and got, that's the subway. He can't. You've got a, <laughs> a fairly limited uh, diet in prison if that's where he's at. Yep. Mm -hmm. I got a feeling he got a lot of foot lines in prison. His plea is <laughs> undisputed. Glow? Where's the cricket? Oh no, this is. I, I was missing. Molly, did you? Did I what? Did you just fart? No. <laughs> did you make the sound? No, she did. I did not. I heard it all the way across the room. Is she sitting in a leather chair? Mm hmm. <laughs> if I farted, you would know. Squeak of the leather. Mm -hmm. not. Did you fart out the front? <laughs> oh, God. I think that's called. Oh, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> there you go. Uh, T, you make me nervous having you here. I don't know how deep we can go. <laughs> <laughs> now this is how you protest, everyone. Let's have a little fun with this. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Taiwanese woman strips naked. <laughs> it's protesting. I guess it's not gonna work, but. Here's her. her. Wait, does she have a cat? She has a cat. Uh, she keeps it with her. For During... luck. <laughs> oh, for luck. She got rid of all the Hold other on. clothing, but she's still hanging on to this. Hey, cat can cover some areas. Yeah, except I go. wouldn't want Oh, it man, to it's hold... down here, but I... it's not. There, she starts, you know, jump roping and. <laughs> what is she protesting? Uh, in the gym, a bizarre rant over not being allowed to bring in her cat. Oh, oh. that's Here why she's naked, pissed. That proves it every time, Peta. You you can ban me from wearing my clothes, but you can't ban my cat. So how? <laughs> what would piss you off so much that you would just get naked? You can't bring uh, your cat in to the gym. Yeah, it's her um comfort cat. Emotional support. <laughs> Emotional support animal. Well, it didn't. One guy I saw, and no, I kind of not doing a very good job if she's stripping naked. What's up, T? Uh, one guy I saw, and I kind of related. He he was going through TSA at the airport, and he got really pissed off, and he just took off all of his clothes and walked through the metal detector. See that? So, I can see. Yeah. Really? You want to see that? Some some just guy. kept setting it off. Got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Well, here. It Speaking of our Canadian friends, uh, they recall the stamp because it was a severed head of a 
monuments. They sent some out, but oh, they're a not. Statue. It's a statue severed oh, head. Oh my god! On the ground. Severed head monument stamps. That's awesome. They recalled them. Yeah, they said. Uh, so this was of a monument that got like destroyed, mm -hmm. taken down, and they yeah, made we'll a stamp show you out the of it. full picture. There it is. They took it down, and then they took a picture of the head that came off the statue, and then somebody greenlit it to be on a stamp. Yeah, put it on an envelope. <laughs> How many people do you think went into that decision to, to go forward with that? Yeah, Probably go, only one. You think so? Because it's not getting past two. <laughs> one Someone, person would say we should idiot with a lot stamp. of power. So mm -hmm. anyone that actually has those stamps, they're worth a lot of money. I would them. imagine right. so. Collectors, yeah. I would I would I don't collect stamps. I would love to have one. I have John A. McDonald statue. So I kind of want want one of them. John McDonald? Is that the guy Wait, that had you're the a farm? numismatist or whatever? It's I think it's philatelist. Oh. You're a philatelist? A philatelist? Yeah, I've got a trunk full of stamps. You do have a trunk You've full of stamps. You've seen my stamps. Wouldn't you love that for your collection? I would. Why don't you get Molly? Her birthday's coming. <laughs> her birthday's coming up. I tried you get giving her a stamp her with a severed head her. on it. I <laughs> think that would be great. A nice little case. It's I think a great talking be... point. It's a great bit of history. <clears throat> this happened. Just when I think you can't get any dorkier, you bust out. You have a trunk of a stamp <laughs> collection. I actually stumbled across my Pogs and Marbles collection the other day. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> You know what? We're gonna do this to the show. So we got to be kind of cool here. Sorry, Mom. Well, wait a second. Um, I can still talk. Does right. T know that your house is haunted? T's never been to my house. That his I house know of. is haunted. Yeah. Cool. So you told me that. Yeah, I did. You could add it to the ghost tour. You could add it to the ghost tour. Grafton sure. Ghost Tour. You could monopolize the Grafton Ghost Tour. Yeah. Yeah, there's 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 a Port Washington ghost tour, but there's not a Grafton ghost tour. I think there's actually a lot of history in Grafton that yeah. they cover it up here in Grafton. They don't like talking about it. <laughs> there's probably even more than yeah. Than well, think about all the stuff that's shipped through Grafton on the Milwaukee River. All the mills and shipyards on the river, like that. All I know it's got a really good there. history. There's that old uh, blues studio, right? There's like a. A mm -hmm. studio where they record a lot of early blues players. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that, you know, there's some stories about some of those old buildings that remain there. There's the old Grafton Hotel. Grafton Hotel is one of the most haunted places in Wisconsin. Really? Mm -hmm. It's in Anna Lardnoy's book. Anna Lardnoy's book. Yep. Cheese Buddy. That's, who I thought that's I was two meeting, places on the Grafton tour that we have now. Yeah. The Arts Mill is haunted. That's three. That's famously haunted too. And your house. T, what are you doing there? What get what are you doing there? Get over here. <laughs> we gotta put Grafton on the map. Put this thing up and running right <laughs> Yeah. All right. I got a funny story here. So the Wiener Mobile is making its rounds. They are now offering a free hot dog on wheels for marriage proposals. Oh, nice. Wait, free? <laughs> I'm sure they're giving you a free hot dog. There you go. You have probably have to spend a fortune for I'm the. I'm sure you got to rent the. You have yeah. to rent it, yeah. And, and I don't see what the correlation is. Yeah. Being, you know, someone that really likes a hot proposal dogs? in front of the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. I mean, if I, really... if I was that girl, I'd be. The answer is no. Some people are, are passionate about hot dogs. Passionate about <laughs> wieners. Yep. So I got a Wiener Mobile story. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> this is funny. Great. If you remember about 10 years ago in Racine, uh, the Wiener Mobile crashed into a house. Yep. Yes. Right that in someone's living room. Was Luke Krupp's house, Jake's cousin? Really? You know Luke? Luke and Nick? Yeah. Okay. He's sitting there, and the Wiener Mobile, they this girl was driving it. And she turned down the wrong road. So it was like a cul-de-sac. She was trying to do a wide turn. She didn't put it in reverse, gunned it, and went through my buddy's wall. And he, I always give him crap. I say, what were you doing? He's like, well, I was just watching TV and the Wienermobile smashed through my wall. <laughs> I'm like, bullshit, dude. Here's what you were doing. You were praying, please, God. 
I might be gay. Just give me a sign. Give me a sign. <laughs> and then a wiener came through the wall. <laughs> the wiener came through the wall. Mm-hmm. So he actually had to move out of racing because he became like a local celebrity. And when we would be walking through the grocery store, they'd be like, wiener, wiener guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Luke. Actually that's awesome. Had to move out. He, he, he liked actually, it at first, but then like everywhere he went, he was just well. The that's the guy. Wiener House. Even though he's gone, it's still the Wiener House. That's awesome. Yes. Ron probably uh remembered back when that happened. He's from Racine, so just when you think you're having a good day, the Wiener movie <laughs> 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 like the Kool Aid Man. Yeah, I was just gonna say Kool Aid Man. <laughs> like yeah, they fix everything up. Oh care yeah, it, but. <laughs> You'll never get that wiener stink off you. <laughs> you gotta move <laughs> when you become wiener man. All that hot dog juice. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? How much would you pay for a T Rex auction? They're actually auctioning off a T Rex. <laughs> Ron says he's never heard of that guy before, so he's not that famous. <laughs> His name is Luke Krupp. <laughs> this is my little Krupp cake. I grew up with that guy. So, <laughs> oh, jeez. Sorry, Luke. I probably shouldn't have said your name, but you are the wiener guy, so deal with it. You were national news. He just when he thought he got away yep. from it, there it is, all over the podcast. <laughs> yep. Now you're back, back in the news. But a T Rex, a uh, whole skeleton, is going up for auction. Forty foot T. I thought this would be cool because you could just call it the T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> It's an actual skeleton or like a replica? It is an actual skeleton. The head on it is replicated to be, it's too heavy, so they keep like the real head next to it, but put a fake head so they can have it standing. Okay. So this is technically a fake head. The real head's like over here. Shouldn't it be in a museum somewhere? Yeah. How is it legal to, just to sell own, own one? Yeah. Like it sounds like, Why a, is it sounds like a Kanye though? purchase. If we buy Molly, if we dig up a T Rex pee on it, <laughs> I piss on Grammys, I piss on T Rex skulls, <laughs> I piss on anything. But it, but it just to piss on. <laughs> yeah, if we dig up a T Rex in our backyard, it's our T Rex, right? Right, right. So yeah. we could sell Find it. Keepers. So is that how it works? <laughs> Why not? Like, well, I guess if well, it's who owned owns property... all dinosaur bones? Is there like a committee that says all dinosaur bones, no matter what? No, there's a history, though. You think that they? Would... Yeah, right. I was just gonna say a lot of guys that find buried or treasure and shipwrecks, um, they get a lot of that taken by whatever government has jurisdiction. They did over... that just recently in Spain, right? Yeah. You probably get you have to get compensated for. Like a finder's fee. I would hope so. <clears throat> yeah. No, what about just... international waters, though? <laughs> I no, think then it, it really depends what port you're bringing it into is where, you know, you're gonna have trouble. I don't know. I don't quite know how it works, but I know I've I've read about situations where people who find yeah. shipwrecks end up having like a long legal battle with the the government that's closest to where they find it. I mean, you gotta get compensated fairly well at no least. i'm pretty sure you don't I, i'm bringing up the story right now well, then why Shipwreck. would you even try to salvage that's what i was just gonna say spain no one would go 17 up. billion dollars oh. and it went all back to spain oh how, how old was that shipwreck it was in the caribbean and the so. person that found it got nothing the whole it was teams of people there's like buckets and buckets of just coins i suppose you do have to trade it in because it's kind of hard to spend gold bullion these days that's worth double than gold if it was shipwrecked. Hmm. But they said it was Spanish, original. It should come back to us. And Spain took all of that. I'm like, no way. You just got to keep it quiet. That's right. <laughs> Shh. We found something. Don't tell. Spain's not cool, guys. Don't tell them. No. Yeah, but you, you do have to come into some port somewhere at some point, And they're going to be waiting. If I have seventeen out. billion dollars worth of coal, I'm just sure I'm running it up any shore. If I have seventeen billion dollars, I found fifteen billion dollars. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. Hey guys, I found nothing. <laughs> yeah, right. Sea's empty. And then what they're gonna turn around and get? Here's here's five hundred dollars. How much did you spend going down there? 
Yeah, we'll reimburse you for that. I mean, at least they should do that, but that's thievery, man. Yeah. T, come on. What are you doing with $17 billion? Shipwreck gold. And why no are people idea. shipping no gold idea. everywhere? No I idea. They were taking it from oh, the Mayans are. or something and shipping it back to Spain back in the day. So, all right, we'll do one more story for you, T. Thank you for sticking it around. It really belongs to yeah. the Mayans. Thanks for putting up with us here. Um, Dugarita. You hear about this? No. Okay, the Dugarita is Red Lobster and Pepsi Cola Company are teaming up to make interesting uh, menu items. So here's a Mountain Dew, and that looks like Dorito dust. <laughs> Margarita. And they're wondering what they're what else they're gonna make with all the Frito Lay products and stuff that they can <laughs> do for the shrimp. I think I threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> I tried it. Come on. Well, you try a Dugarita, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would try it. Well, Mountain Dew was originally a whiskey mixer. That's what it was invented for. So I thought you guys would have more of a damn opinion about this. <laughs> I think, I mean, it looks badass. and Yeah, it's it's a nice looking drink, but I don't know, man. So you're thinking Red Lobster is going to have like Dorito crusted shrimp and stuff now? Yeah. That sounds or awesome. Fritos. You know. <laughs> How much did you love the Doritos Locos Tacos and now they got rid of them? Enough that I <laughs> ate one out of the garbage. <laughs> yeah, they were pretty good. They're, yeah, they're many items the are one joke. thing, but Mountain Dew. Ugh. I think I mean, Come on, it's just it's salt in flavor, and why would that be a bad breading for something? I don't know. I remember that day you caught me eating that Dorito Locos Taco out of the garbage. <laughs> He looked like like Gollum from Lord of the Rings, punched like, <laughs> over it on the bed, and like just sitting there eating it and going, "Don't judge me." <laughs> in the garbage, first off, because I bought really twenty good. of them and I only ate eighteen, and then there were <laughs> oh two. When they there first... were two still left in the garbage. You ate eighteen? When they first Jesus. came out. He really likes them. <laughs> when they first came out, we went to his parents and we got the party pack. A couple and... of them, yeah. Normally, you only got like five of the Doritos tacos and the rest were regular. But we were like, no, we'll pay extra. Just give them all. We want all Dorito tacos. That's what we want. And yeah, he, he tapped out with two left and threw them away. But then when I went to bed with a belly full of Dorito tacos, I was thinking about them in there. And I'm like, no, you can't leave them. I can't let them go. But then the shells and the lettuce and the all soggy. It little... was soggy. They were not delicious. Yeah, but, but they I were wrapped it. when they were thrown yeah. in there. So, I mean. I still had to dig through the garbage. <laughs> so you said you ate a taco from the garbage. You actually ate two tacos from the garbage. <laughs> yes. I ate them both. <laughs> what about sharing with Molly? I wasn't touching them. I wish I had gotten like video because it literally was him hunched over the bed and looking at me like, ah! what, what was the surrounding garbage? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I was at Were you drunk at the time? I might have had a. No, you were completely sober. Oh, good. It's oh, even yeah. worse. You, you could say you were drunk at the down. time, and you know, eh, but you were completely sober. Yes. <clears throat> I'm not letting you play that oh, I was drunk or hungover card. You were sober. Huh. Was I? No. Damn you it. We're sober. <laughs> <laughs> when they first came out, though, those were amazing. They were, absolutely. This is like if i could go back you don't in have time, them anymore no they do but they if do? i could go back in time i could be like tom chin up we're gonna get dorito tacos just wait a couple of years I hate everything's to gonna get better to you, but i really think taco bell might have gotten rid of Doritos tacos. if i thought that's what she said yeah they bring got up a menu of the cheesy quesaritos that i like they got rid of get like, rid of the maximo which is they a, got rid of crotty. the loaded they got rid of everything that was good yeah. on their menu. they did not get rid of the caulking gun that they put the sour cream <laughs> on that's always an adventure i love watching them apply it with a caulking gun <laughs> <laughs> no we're good nacho cheese i like the cool ranch they're a buck 89 now holy crap 
Yeah, because it was a while where it was like cheaper to eat a Taco Bell than to feed your dog. And it's yeah. like, how are they doing this? I don't know. Just feed your dog Taco Bell. Right? <laughs> and you know what? When that big news story came out that it's like, you know, Taco Bell doesn't use real meat. And we're like, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I figured some type of did meat anyone, product. Did anyone actually think it was real? Like, what's the yeah, big I don't care. It's five Maybe. bucks and I'm full. <laughs> It was extra. It tastes great. Sure. Ron says, "How American is it that we're bitching about losing food at a fast food place?" Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't lose nacho cheese Doritos Locos tacos. That's great. Good. Oh, thank. They got rid of lots of stuff. They get rid of breakfast. Oh, did they? They're not open for breakfast right now. And, you know, I never had a chance to try it, but it was like it sounded like a great idea because. Karen over here is gonna. I'm I'm someone. upset about She's it, so I can talk back. about it. Yep. You watch. I'm gonna put Karen on it, and we're gonna get some. Be breakfast in no time. I liked the breakfast crunch wraps. They were good. And how often did you go? I went twice in my life. No, I've I went more than you know. I mean, I'll go on my way to work. You don't have to know everything. There you go. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're eating out of the trash. She can do what she wants. <laughs> <laughs> she gets her hair done all beautiful. I'm just gaining COVID weight <laughs> and eating garbage. <laughs> That's such a catch. The Taco Bell breakfast crunch wraps with the little Cinnabon treats on the side oh, were like wow. my one guilty pleasure. That sounds Give great. It to me. Are you sure it's no more or is it just way. near you where you know. live? It might just be the one I want to Guilty pleasure. It's a... Okay. Because I want to, I've been wanting to try it ever since I heard about it. I never have done the breakfast at Taco Bell, but. Now, now you got something to now do for the rest of the day. Well, if they still have it, I'll check. They closed Taco Bell right up the road. No as kidding. As soon as we moved in. <laughs> we Welcome know. to Taco Bell Rand Hour. <laughs> What's your favorite? What do you get at? What do you want from Taco Bell, T? <laughs> you, should, you guys should do a spinoff uh, podcast where you talk about Taco Bell news. <laughs> have you heard I, I, about the Taco Bell uh, Hotel Resort and yeah, Casino? I was say, we did have a story. No, I didn't. I had no idea. I, I like the chalupas myself. I don't know if they still have them. Is it really a resort? There is a Taco Bell resort. And where is it located? Palm Springs. Oh. It's all Taco Bell themed. Here you go. This is the Taco Bell hour. Boom, yeah. Palm Springs. Oh, it's not a casino. The Bell. <laughs> Look at that. Fire sauce Wait, floating. Does it say vacancy? No vacancy. Yeah, what did it say there in the corner? No. No vacancy. <laughs> Wait, we can't get in? Apparently. Hold on. This is going on. Oh no! It's a casino too. That commercial should end with Tom eating out of the trash. Seriously. Here's the issue I saw with, with this this whole premise here. I'm not quite sure I would do some of those yoga poses after <laughs> eating Taco, Taco Bell, Bell for, for, for four how days. Many straight days. I mean, I, yeah, it I don't could know be if a I get an that. apple, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. And then the pool too. That could be a I mean, disaster. I mean, just the diarrhea that might come out. You know, be... that little ad made it made me think like is this a real thing or is it just a, a goofy like spoof it's like levi's three-legged jeans from the old Saturday Night live spoofs is this just a resort that they went and just put a bunch of taco bell cushions we can't even get around? tickets molly we're not rich enough to go to the taco bell resort are you high 
or does it just not exist? All right. So, um, what flavor salsa do you do with the fire? The hot, hot fire. Yeah. I don't do the. I don't. I don't find it that hot. I mean, I'm from Louisiana, so it's like, yeah, it's all right, but it doesn't eat fire in that thing. Yeah. The fire sauce will cure uh, a cold. Oh my God! Here we go with this witch over here. It, clear, it clears your nasal. Your it does. She snorts hot. She snorts. Oh, that's sauce. not good. You just, you just like suck down a packet of fire sauce. That's what I see. The instant cure in the morning. That's what she eats for breakfast. She just She's not eating it out of the trash, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking hot sauce down for breakfast. <laughs> if I... mm-hmm. All right. Well, T, thank you for sticking around and goofing off with us. Thanks uh, for having me. It's good to see you, virtually at least. Yeah. Where can we find uh, your amazing book? Yeah, that up oh, there. Uh, so I think best place, uh, my website, tkrulos.com, T-E-A-K-R-U-L-O-S.com. I've got information about all my books there. I also write a weekly column called T's Weird Week. Are you done with the uh, trivia? Yeah, uh, I did it for a while, and then, you know, it just kind of got lost in the shuffle. But we're going to do some trivia for the Milwaukee Paranormal Conference online. So I'm going to be hosting that. So it'll be back. All right. Excellent. Thank you very much, T. Thank you, William, Michael. Thank you, guys. Everybody, uh, go check out American Madness. You won't be able to put the book down. And remember, everyone, we're not good enough. Thanks for tuning in, Universe.